It's about damn time, am I right? FNAF Security Breach was announced on August 8th, 2019, and ever since then we have patiently, and sometimes not so patiently, waited for a release date. But thanks to a little thing known as a global pandemic, we kinda had to have a slight delay. What was supposed to come out in 2020 is now coming out this year, but we finally have a goddamn release date for Security Breach! After a whole separate game was made to apologize for the delay, how long will we have to wait for the main event? That's what we're exploring today. Greetings gamers, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm William Afton and this is the FNAF Security Breach just got a release date. Let's do it. So this release date, strangely enough, didn't come from the Freddy and Friends on tour videos like we were expecting, but rather a new state of play trailer at the PlayStation Showcase last night. This was certainly surprising since Freddy and Friends was building itself up to be the release date kind of like reveal, and to this point it has only revealed that it would be coming out this year, and at some point with a month starting with a one, which was every other month this year. Something that we knew about already. It's also revealed that all the glitches we've been seeing in the Freddy and Friends episodes, with the exception of the purple ones, were actually screenshots from the State of Play trailer. However, it wasn't everything we got, so let's go over some of the new stuff as well. We start with getting a look at some of the story, with us learning that we aren't intentionally inside the Pizza Plex after closing, that it just happened to work out that we got trapped inside. This does help snuff out a few theories about the game and provide some much needed context to keep theorizing. We also see Chica feeding on what seemingly looks like a bucket of chicken, but acting very much like a zombie before turning to us to attack and then getting crushed by a pipe, but then still attacking, because you know, Chica's resilient like that. We hear the moon drop and sunrise, or whatever the sun version is called animatronic, say that he wants us, and then we get our first look at an actual interaction in the game, where we knock over a tower of paint cans and Chica is lured out of the way. I'm guessing this is going to be a mechanic that is used heavily. After this, we get a scene seemingly in the employee locker room where we climb inside of a lifeless Glamrock Freddy animatronic and begin piloting it like a mech, like a lot of people have been guessing. So this will in essence serve as a more advanced form of the Freddy mask from FNAF 2, where we can use this to get around or just get next to animatronics, but probably not for a long time since that would kind of be too easy, and there is actually a battery meter on the bottom of the HUD when you're inside. Side Freddy. It's interesting to me that Freddy seems to have no life in him at this point as well, just being a robot that we can control rather than a friendly AI, but either way, we will probably spend most of the night looking for batteries for our flashlight and for Freddy, since the scene directly after this has text that reads, hold square to recharge flashlight. And given the battery level on Freddy, unless he makes his own power and just recharges over time, this will probably be a similar mechanic. We also learn through Glamrock Freddy's voiceover that we just need to survive until 6am in classic FNAF fashion, meaning this game's gameplay will likely be a combination of the classic FNAF mixed with a little bit of sister location, where we do have to survive until 6, but there is also a story we have to follow. And from what I could see, there was also at some point a little tab that said missions. So there looks like there's either going to be some form of side quest or it's going to help you figure out what you need to do next. Especially given the cinematic moments that happen, like uh, Chica attacking and Montgomery Gator jumping onto a catwalk later in the trailer, I'm pretty sure that this is going to definitely be more story based but still have some original FNAF elements. We also know that we'll have a sprint meter and whatever the hell that giant Music Man animatronic is. It's literally like a giant freaking Music Man spider, okay? I'm guessing by his feet as well that this is the giant animatronic that was only able to fit one hand onto the screen in the third Freddy and Friends episode. Um, so it's not as tall as I thought it was going to be, but either way, I have to be honest though, that thing is freaking terrifying. Like, why? Why giant spiders in a series about possessed animatronics and killers trying to escape from a video game? Why do we have giant spiders? Or I wanted to leave that for Skyrim. We also learned that we will be able to get a flashing device that could simply just be a camera flash that can temporarily stun at least Roxanne Wolf, but probably other animatronics as well. We can also assume that the animatronics, or at the very least Chica, will be able to be damaged, something seemingly shared with the special delivery animatronics. Since at a minute and 26 seconds in the trailer, we see a damaged Chica that's missing her beak, but also the exosuit on her left 
left arm, which is an even more damaged state than we see her in that one teaser image from Daco's stream. You know, the one where she's sitting like outside the pizza plex, she's like all like this and she's absolutely destroyed. Yeah, that one. We already knew that Montgomery was going to be strong, but as to why he ends up destroying what looks like a laser is a mystery to me, after he's introduced. And probably the most interesting reveal is what we learn from Freddy Fazbear. We see this animatronic glitching out after being introduced, and then we cut to a red screen that, with text that says alert and detected. However, by pausing it, we can also see that there is a bar called the integrity level, which indicates to me that Freddy will end up betraying us if the integrity bar gets too low. Notice how the integrity level in this scene is going down, and then it says alert and detected with a little 8-bit version of a child. Perhaps alerting us to how that child will be in danger if this integrity bar ends up getting too low, or I guess stopping, or getting below zero, getting to zero. Freddy then drops the mic and lays on the ground, and then the scene ends there. The trailer ends revealing to us what we thought was the Stitch Wraith in the first Freddy and Friends video is actually another new animatronic. One that is strikingly similar to a mini Rena, but instead has tear streaks like the puppet has and has the words in your dreams written across the chest. Even though there's multiple of them, they all have in your dreams. Perhaps maybe this is like a nightmare mini Rena, or it's just a new animatronic in general that's supposed to help out around the pizza plex, but we, I mean, we don't know. Like, why do you have in your dreams written across your chest? That's so weird. That's such an obscure thing. But we won't have to wait long to find out why, since Security Breach will be releasing on December 16th, 2021. Which is one day from what I had been guessing this whole time, which was December 17th. What the hell, Steel Wool? You couldn't, you couldn't have just made it one day later? You had to make me one day off? Are you serious? Bro, this is my supervillain origin story. This is why I'm dressed as the purple guy. One day! One day off! Are you kidding me? Oh, I needed to do that. I needed to get that out of my system. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad about that. Huh. There we have it, friends. FNAF Security Breach just got a release date and everything you need to know from the PlayStation State of Play October trailer. Are you excited for the game? And why do you think they revealed it with this trailer instead of Freddy and Friends on tour? Be sure you let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe. I'm going to say my name instead of William Afton this time. And I'll see you in another video, unless the cops get me, because purple guy. Since at 1 minute 26 seconds in the trailer, we see a damaged Chica missing her beak, but also the ex- You picked a bad day to do this, but I'm dressed as a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought.